What we have here is called the solubility curve. It tells us the saturation amount for a variety of different substances at different temperatures. So let's familiarize ourselves with the graph. So on the x-axis we have temperature and on the y-axis we have grams of solute per 100 grams of water. Now when it says grams of solute, the solute we're talking about are all of these. Potassium iodide, sodium nitrate, ammonia. So basically how much solute can we dissolve in 100 grams of water? That's what these lines tell us. And the lines again are the saturation amounts. So here we go. What is the saturation amount for potassium nitrate at 50 degrees C? Well, here's potassium nitrate, and here is 50 degrees C. So let's use basic graph reading technique. Let's go up and over, and we see where we hit the line, it's about 80. So that's 80 grams of solute will dissolve in 100 grams of water. So that's the saturation amount. 80 grams of salt will dissolve in 100 grams of water. And remember that a gram of water is equal to a milliliter of water. And that's because the density of water is one gram per milliliter. All right, let's take a look at another problem. 60 grams of ammonium chloride are dissolved in 100 grams of water at 90 degrees C. How would you describe the solution? So we have 60 grams of ammonium chloride. Here's the saturation amount for ammonium chloride. And we're at 90 degrees C. So at 90 degrees C, so at 90 degrees C, if we go up and over, we discovered that the saturation amount for ammonium chloride is 70 grams of ammonium chloride will dissolve in 100 grams of water. So if 70 is the saturation amount, but our solution only has 60, well, what type of solution is that? That's right. That's an unsaturated solution. What if 95 grams of salt were dissolved in the solution? Well, once again, the saturation amount is 70. So if we did have 95 grams dissolved in there, that would be a super saturated solution. It would be unstable and temporary. Let's do one more problem. A chemistry student prepared a 25 milliliter saturated solution of potassium chlorate at 50 degrees C. How many grams of salt were used? Well, let's first find potassium chlorate. So here's potassium chlorate, and once again the line represents the saturation amount, or how many grams of this salt will dissolve in 100 grams of water. So we're at 50 degrees, so let's go up until we hit the line, and then let's go over. So it looks like the saturation amount at 50 degrees for potassium chlorate is 20. That means we can dissolve 20 grams of salt in 100 grams of water. But back to our question, a chemistry student prepared 25 milliliters of a saturated solution. They didn't prepare 100 milliliters, they prepared 25 milliliters. So we want to know how many grams of salt were used. So we can set up a simple proportion, and then we can just uh, do some algebra. So the answer is 5 grams. So hopefully these three problems gave you some experience with solubility curves.